Hi guys, welcome back to the show. So we are finally in 2024. Yeah. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you guys. Um, this week has definitely been interesting to say the least. Um, New Year's. Hello, we finally made it to the new year. That is so awesome. And so what I did was I fucking worked <laughs> until like, I think Friday. And then Saturday, and then Friday, I think I went out with some friends, which is so fun. We went to some gay bars in Boys Town. And I met a, a couple people, you know, got some snaps because they didn't get my number and i just been messaging a couple people so that was fun and then saturday i met with my friend at and the new year's party that they had because it was or no sunday it was sunday i met at my friend's other friend house slash new year's party and that was fun so I hung out with all his friends and they were cool. They were nice. Um, some of them were more attractive than others to say. And you know, I try to like introduce myself to everybody and be like, yeah. Isn't it always like awkward when you first meet people? Like it was awkward for me when I went to the club cause I'm like, I was just standing there like, what the fuck do people do like besides drink? And everybody was like just standing around like, and I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Like we need to interact with each other. But I guess because the music is so loud, it's like really hard to hear anybody in there. So you really can't have a full blown conversation. Like I'm having a conversation with you guys. So, but it was still fun though. And this weekend i'm supposed to be going out with another friend possibly back to boys town um so i'm gonna be hanging out with him later tonight because yeah today's saturday so yeah i'm supposed to be hanging out with him um he's a new friend too you know i'm trying to make all these friends y'all like i'm just fucking popular i can't help it <laughs> So everybody wants to be friends and everybody wants to like hang out with me, which is great. Like I like it, don't get me wrong. Cause some days it be dry as fuck. Like it literally dry as hell. Like nobody messages me, nobody does anything. And I'd be like, the fuck is everybody at? Like I'm not even like super busy as I'm gonna be later on in the year. And it's like, now's the time y'all need to be trying to hang out with me because once I get busy, it's gonna be impossible to hang out with me because I am focusing on so many things. So yeah guys, so I have been applying for some acting and modeling jobs this year. I'm super excited for, I'm waiting to hear back from them. Um, what else? I've also been working I'm gonna start trying to work on my uh, my books. So I know, I haven't told you guys about like my books that I've written. I have like five of them literally sitting around the house somewhere. And they're basically like about, you know, a couple of chapters long. Some of them will be longer than others, but for the most part, um, they're really good books. Like one of the books is about like these two brothers. They come from a family of assassins and the older brother is supposed to be initiated into this, you know, secret society where they're supposed to basically war. Well, they put him through a test where he's supposed to tell, um, he's supposed to like kill his family. Basically, <laughs> I know it sounds so nonchalant, but he's supposed to kill his family in order for him to become in league with them and he does that halfway because he like he's able to kill his parents even though they're like top spies or whatever because that's their son but he doesn't kill his brother 
because he thinks he kills his brother, but his brother survives and he doesn't know that he thinks he's dead. He thinks all his family's dead. So then it's like, it fast forwards like, I think 10 years or something, I forgot what I put. But it fast forwards to when the younger brother is now old, well now is an adult, cause he was a child at the time. He's now a grown adult. And then the older brother is even older cause he was only like 17, 18 at the time. Um, that he that I started the book out with and now he's much older now he's like in, into his 30s and his younger brother is into, into his 20s so yeah it's it's really good it's like all my family and friends say that they like it and I've had it in the works for a couple years now I've just been like really procrastinating and not focusing on like my hobbies and my goals and my dreams and everything that I want to come true. And it's like, I have so many like ideas and I have like so many like inspirations. It's just, it's hard to navigate on how to proceed forward with each of them, if that makes sense. So yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And then, um, Oh yeah, what did I want to tell you guys about? I know I said I had something in store for you guys. I don't know if I can release it just yet. <laughs> but I'm definitely working on some Bossy and Bougie this year. I'm going to be working on some Bossy and Bougie, possibly merchandise, and also some other Bossy and Bougie like websites and some other things that's like in the you know future for my brand because like I told you guys I'm trying to build this brand that I worked my ass off for it's been now almost three years now I think in April it'll be three years that I started this brand so I'm definitely going to try to expand it and grow it and just really help shape it and hopefully be successful like other YouTubers and TikTokers. I mean, I really don't be on TikTok, y'all, but I mean, maybe I may have to get on TikTok this year. I don't really know what I'll fucking do on there. That's the thing is like, I don't fucking know what to do, but I'll have to figure it out. And then other news, y'all, I want to know if you guys are dealing with this problem too. Why is it that like in the... I'm speaking in general for the dating community. Why is it that people like are either afraid to like talk to you or afraid to like hang out with you? Like they'll talk to you, talk to you, lead up to, oh, let's meet up and then don't do it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with people nowadays? Like they're fucking idiots. Like if you're not interested in someone, Please just tell them like there's nothing wrong with just saying it nicely. Don't be a fucking asshole But just saying it nicely like hey, you know, I'm not into you or You know, you're not necessarily my type, you know, I'm sorry about that. Just be nice people have feelings too Damn, yeah, some I mean, I thought I was a bitch. No, it's some, some other people out here was straight up assholes but yeah, so I don't know what's up with that, but like this gay and, and straight too, cause there's some girls out here and straight boys out here that be acting like clearly assholes when it comes to like turning down people. And it's like, it's not, you don't have to be a fucking ass, okay? Like you can just tell them nicely, like, hey, I appreciate the love or whatever they message you, unless it's inappropriate, then you can be an asshole. But if it's not inappropriate, they just be like, hey, how are you, or something like that. You don't have to be like, you're not my type. Bitch, I'm just saying hi, how are you? I didn't say I was even interested in you. I'm just saying hello, damn. Some of y'all, ooh, jeez. Yeah, it's some weird, it's some fucked up people out here, y'all. So just be careful. And remember that that's bougie. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. Stay tuned for next episode. <laughs> so have a good day, guys. Love you as always. And bye for now.